My name is Bonnie, but you can call me B. And even though my partner A isn't here, I can still have the WQQQQ club. I moved around a lot as a child, like a lot. I was always just really interested in photography and video and audio recording, just sort of documenting everything. I became interested in mobile technology specifically. To me, it represents an accessible form of, of media production. So I came to MIT as a graduate student in comparative media studies, and as such, I was assigned to be a researcher at the Center for Future Civic Media. Center for Future Civic Media is, the, is in a certain way the heart of the business because it enables us to work with the civic process. You know, media is really central to how we see ourselves, to how we connect to other people. The latest project I ran was called M Generations. That's a rainbow. Mom, say hello. A generation of people who came to this country. This is me, driving. And then the next generation who um, use mobile technologies every day. My name is Maria. I'm at a football game. And we had two adults as well, one of whom would drive from um, group home to group home. He worked as, as a social worker, so he was always on the road, and he would film in the car all the time. I do travel like 100 miles every day seeing my clients who are scattered in various towns. The other members of the group who are teenagers watch his footage and say, oh look, yeah, I didn't know he drives all around the state for work all the time. Here Now he's driving and it's midnight. He must work all the time. And you see how on the top right it says pause? And Audubon chose not to supply these kids with high-end video cameras, but rather to equip them or have them draw on the, the cameras that they carry with them every day in the form of a cell phone. What's terrific about that is that students become active viewers of the world around them. They are potentially always, all the time, documentary filmmakers. Chemistry class. <laughs> Watching what their peers were filming really got people more excited, I think, to go back and film more about their lives. At the end, when we showed the final video to the whole congregation of almost 300 members of this church, that I think it was very embarrassing for a lot of people, but it was also hopefully a moment of pride of like, yeah, look, this is me, this is my life, and now you know a little bit more about me. I think the main thing is that it's never about the technology, ever. And of course, we at MIT have to remind ourselves that all the time, because we always have new shiny technology around, but um, it's never about the technology, it's always about the social processes behind it. How does it get used? What impact does it have on human beings? <laughs>